Okay. We we'll take up the caution tool now. Okay. So let's say we have a function which is the quotient of two functions. I want to find dy by dx. Right? Let's say I have x over sine x. So simply apply the quotient rule which says the d over dx of u over v is you have in the denominator the square of the function in the denominator, right? Then the function in the denominator remains as is and you differentiate the function in the numerator which is du over dx and here you have a minus sign unlike the product rule and then the function in the numerator as it is and the derivative of the function in the denominator which is dv over dx so this is a v this is a u so that's the quotient rule let's take this example okay in the denominator we have the squared of the function in the denominator so this gives you a sine x squared or a sine squared x and in the numerator we have this function in the denominator remains as is you take the derivative of the function in the numerator which is a 1 okay and then you take away the function in the numerator and the derivative of v that is a function in the denominator which is a cos okay so this gives you sine x take away x cos x over sine squared x so that's the answer okay let's take another example I have x over e to the x so this is u this is v so square of the function in the denominator gives you an e to the power 2x this remains as is derivative of u is 1 take away the function in the numerator derivative of e to the power x and gives gives it back so you have this as the answer now another way of doing this without using the quotient rule you can also apply the product rule here okay if not very comfortable with the quotient rule so you can write this as e to the power negative x times x and now you can simply apply the product rule which says d by dx of u times v is the first function as it is derivative of the second plus the second as it is derivative of the first so applying this rule here gives you keep this function as it is a one plus here a negative e to the power negative x okay let's just solve this we get a one over e to the x negative x over e to the x and isn't this equal to this? Okay, cancel this out. It gives you the same thing. So you can always use the product rule for questions which may also involve the quotient rule. Okay, like we did in the previous example, we had an x over sine x. We could have done it like this sine x to the power of negative 1. And then you can apply taking this as u sorry u and this as v we could use the product rule there so anyways this is the quotient rule that is used differentiation